For today's workout, you're gonna start with a dynamic warm up. You're gonna then move into your stretching and then you're gonna do two cardio circuits. So for today's workout, you just need your own body weight, a stretch mat if you're working on a hard surface, and a jump rope. If you don't have access to a jump rope, you can just simulate the movement using your own body weight. So for today's workout, we have Clutch Body Shop athlete and fitness model superstar, Amber Elizabeth Dodswhite, ready to kill it. So remember, for today's workout and every workout in this trainer, you can follow along in real time using your smartphone, tablet, computer, or television. Okay, so let's get started with the dynamic warm-up. Each one of these exercises is gonna be performed for 30 seconds. Your first exercise is jogging in place. Let's go. Starting now. So you really wanna keep your shoulders loose. You're really just trying to get the body warm. You don't have to push it too hard, but you definitely wanna be at an intensity of probably around a six or seven out of 10. Okay, you have 10 more seconds. The next exercise coming up, you're gonna go straight into your jumping jacks. Three, two, one, switch. Okay, so again, she has a nice wide stance. She's, you know, not going 100%, but she's still pushing it. The feet are coming out nice and wide, which is warming up the legs. Five, four, three, two, one, right into butt kicks. So with the butt kick exercise, can you just rotate for them? So the butt kick exercise, you're keeping your knee right underneath your hip, and she's just coming right up and kicking her butt. This is gonna warm up the hamstrings. We've got 15 seconds left. Again, keeping the arms nice and loose. Throughout all of these exercises, we're also warming up the upper body, even though what you see is the lower body working. Good, five seconds. So next up is a switch kick with arm circles. Ready, go. So this is gonna warm up the shoulders, the quads, and the calves. Good. 15 seconds. Good. She's keeping her arms perpendicular with her shoulder. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Right into high knees. So with this exercise, you really want to make sure that you're bringing your knees all the way up past your belly button. This is going to help warm up the hip flexors and the abs. It's really important that before you exercise, you go through dynamic movements like this to make sure that all your joints are lubricated and your muscles are really ready to perform the workout ahead. Good, we've got set. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. So that is the conclusion of the dynamic warm-up. Let's go straight into our stretching. So we're gonna start with the seated floor hamstring stretch. And again, each one of these is gonna be performed for 30 seconds as well. Her legs are straight. If you can't get all the way out to your feet, it's okay. Just go as far as you can go comfortably and you can grab onto your calves. It is really important though, that when you are stretching, you take yourself slightly out of your comfort zone. I see people at the gym kind of half-assing stretching and you're doing nothing if you're doing that. The idea is to really warm the muscle up. Okay, so now she's gonna come back and relax and give it about five seconds and she's gonna go right back into the next stretch. Performing stretches twice are, is really an advantage to the body because on the next stretch, you'll see that it's much easier. You can go much farther with the stretch than you could on the first one. So let's go ahead and go right back into it. And again, on the second round, you're gonna be performing the stretch for 30 seconds as well. Good, keep your head down. So your head should be down. You should feel the stretch all the way through the back. Okay, moving on to the next stretch, which is a quad stretch. The 
looking good. So for this stretch, you want to make sure that your knee is going straight to the ground. Pull back to where you're comfortable. If you have difficulty standing in place and doing this stretch, it's okay to use a wall or whatever's nearby to keep your balance. Four, three, two, one. She's gonna go right into the stretch one more time. So again, while you're going through these stretch exercises, you really wanna make sure that you're breathing. I like to tell people that it's really important to kind of get your mindset right for what's ahead. This is an opportunity to really focus on kind of what your goal is for the workout and what you're trying to get out of it. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, switch to the other leg. You know, sometimes when I'm at the gym, I see people while they're stretching, checking social media or posting or, or doing things like before they're getting ready to get into a workout. And that's not what you should be doing when you're in the gym. You really need to kind of tune everything from the outside world out and focus solely on what you're there to do. This is really an opportunity to get your head in the game. So use that opportunity wisely. Okay, 30 seconds, let it shake it out. Good, so she's shaking it out and she's gonna go right back up again. Make sure you keep your knee down. Good, so I'm really trying to get her knee to be parallel to this knee here because that's really what's going to drive the stretch. You know, if pe you see people doing a quad stretch and they're really not pulling the, the leg back far enough, that's not gonna do a whole lot for you. Good, so five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good, next stretch is gonna be the sumo squat. Let's get into it. Okay, good, so Amber is really putting, placing all of the weight on her heels here. This is to really open up the hips, stretch out the groin. People who do a lot of sitting at a computer or you do a lot of squatting or running, this is an area that sometimes gets drastically overlooked and this can lead to a lot of issues with the low back. So this is a really, really great stretch to do not just before you're working out, but throughout the day. Good, two, one. Come back up, shake it out. And she's gonna go right back down for the next set. How you feel? Okay. Okay, good, and again, while she's going through these exercises, she's breathing. Very important to breathe while you're stretching. Again, sometimes I see people, they're holding their breath while they're stretching. You're not doing yourself any favors by doing that. You need to pump oxygen into the body. Okay, three, two, one, and back up. Okay, next up, we have a dynamic chest stretch. So with this exercise, Amber's gonna be going through a movement, just warming the chest up. You don't wanna be tearing through this exercise. You don't wanna be like feverishly swinging your arms because again, we're just warming up, but we don't wanna tear anything. We don't wanna injure anything. Her arms are staying nice and loose. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, so she's gonna just kind of shake out and move on to the next set of this. So each one of these exercises is, is designed to basically get your body ready for the cardio workout that you're about to do. Again, it's so important to go through dynamic warm-ups and stretching before you go into something that's high intensity, which all the Clutch Body Shop workouts are. So this is a great way to get the body prepared. Three, two, one, good. Shoulder across the chest. So Amber's gonna go ahead and lift up. She's applying pressure to the elbow with this hand and bringing the arm across the body. With this stretch, I'm really trying to get into the delt and the rear delt to stretch that out. Um, the other thing about this stretch that's important to note is if you feel a contraction or pain in your chest, that means that you really need to work on your chest flexibility. Sometimes when you bring the arm across the body, the chest has a tendency to contract if you're not working on your flexibility in that area enough. Okay, three, two, one. She's gonna let this arm down and bring it across again. Good. 
So if you guys are doing this at home, again, make sure that you're breathing through the stretches, make sure that you're staying nice and loose. Don't contract the whole body, don't hold your breath. So often I see people going through these stretch exercises at the gym and they're literally red in the face as they're stretching. That's not the point of this. The point is to start pumping oxygen into your body and to prepare for the workout ahead. Okay, switch. Good. Okay, so she's gonna go ahead and start on the other side now. Good, and again, stretching also, unknown to most people, it also can help promote fat loss in the body because what studies have shown is that stretching, because it's a relaxation technique, it can help promote lowering of cortisol levels, which again can promote better muscle definition, fat loss. It's not just something that is designed to stretch muscles out. Okay, two, one, shake it out. Okay, go ahead and bring it back across. I've seen that with people that spend at least a day stretching a week or add this at the beginning or the end of any workout, they're gonna see better results in their body just because of the fact that the cortisol is dropping and because you're lengthening the muscles out throughout the workout, you're gonna get your, your better power output. You have more leverage to make the movements happen because you're basically taking a muscle from here instead of here and then contracting. Okay, go ahead and stop. Okay, let's move on. Next up is a tricep stretch. So Amber's gonna go ahead and she's gonna bring that elbow up, her arm is back, and she's using this hand again to just press lightly on her elbow, bringing the arm down. So you will, you'll feel this in the tricep. A lot of you will also feel this coming down through your lat, which is another area that gets kind of overlooked with stretching, and it's very important to keep this area nice and lengthened out because the lat can actually because it attaches in the low back. If it's not lengthened out, it can really pull on that low back, which you don't want. Good, relax. Just gonna shake it out. Bring it right back up. Good. So for those of you who are doing this at home, this is a stretch that you really wanna make sure that that elbow is against your ear. You don't wanna have your elbow all the way out here trying to perform the stretch. It should be pressed right against your head and pulled down. Okay, good, three, two, one. Amber's gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. seconds left on this side. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake it out, come back up. About 10 more seconds left. Coming up, we have the iliopsoas stretch. She's going back down on the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So Amber's gonna get into the iliopsoas stretch next. She's gonna be on one knee, and she's gonna put her foot slightly past 90 degrees. She's gonna flex her glutes, and then she's gonna sink into this stretch. Once you have your balance, you wanna bring your arm up and over your body and then come back. So you're leaning back. What this is gonna do is it's gonna help bring a great stretch into this area. Good, okay, relax. Good, she's gonna shake it out. Go right back into it. The iliopsoas is a hip flexor that runs right through the core of your body and it attaches in your low back. If it gets too tight, it can cause a lot of back problems, tightness and spasm. So it's a great stretch to do at the beginning and end of any workout. If you're ever at your desk at work and you're feeling like a lot of tightness in your low back, this is your stretch. Good, so she wanna, wants to make sure that she's staying back. Good, three, two, one, good. So she's gonna switch to the other side. 
Now, if you find that you're doing this stretch and you're not feeling it right through this area, you really, let's get Amber into the position first. Put your hand up. Okay. So if you're in this position and you're not feeling this stretch through here, it's really important that you start leaning back. So I want Amber to bring her body back. So you're leaning back and into the stretch. You'll also feel this through parts of your groin. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and stop. And she's gonna go through this one more time. Also, this is great for the quad as well. Okay, go ahead and get right back into it. And again, keeping the upper body totally straight. She's staying very tall while she's doing this. She's not leaning forward. So if you need to use a mirror while doing this, if you have one available to you, this is a great exercise to use a mirror for to make sure your body is in this perfect position. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So next, Amber's gonna move into a low back stretch. So she's just gonna lay on her back. And most of you have done this have done a stretch like this. Okay, and she's just gonna bring one knee over her body. Good, and she's gonna rotate. Good, so this stretch is gonna go right through the low back, parts of the lat. And sometimes you'll even feel this in parts of your glute. Good, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, Two, one, good. Just gonna come back over, and then come right back over. Good. And you can use this hand on this side if you want to get a better stretch to really use to press against your hip if you don't have, obviously, a partner helping you stretch. Um, that'll just help accentuate the stretch even further because sometimes using your own body weight, you can't get quite far enough. Good, 10 seconds, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So now Amber's gonna switch to the other side. Again, bringing that knee down to the ground and keeping everything very relaxed through the leg. And you can use that hand to press your hip further towards the floor to really get deeper into the stretch. This arm should be totally relaxed. You'll also feel a slight chest stretch with, with this exercise, which is great. Good. So we've got six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Just gonna shake it out and move right back across. Good. Sometimes when I see people do this stretch, I'll see this arm start to lift up off the ground. That is, that's not what you wanna do. You wanna keep that arm nice and relaxed because again, through all these stretches, there's always secondary muscles that are also being stretched. So with this stretch, it's the, it's the chest, which is great, right? Because we use our chest a lot for push-ups for this routine, everything from that to overhead press. So it's very important that we keep that nice and stretched. Okay, three, two, one. Good, and stop. So Amber's gonna go ahead and move into a glute stretch next. She's just gonna sit up. And she's gonna cross one leg across the other, and she's gonna use this arm to pull her knee into her body, keeping this leg nice and straight. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. So she's just gonna shake it out for a second and bring it right back up. Good. So again, she's breathing. She's keeping her upper body nice and tall. She's not leaning into the stretch. Ten seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. She's gonna shake that side out and she can move on to the next side. So again, pulling the knee across. If you don't feel this stretch enough when you pull the knee across, 
try and twist your leg more this way, that's gonna help really pull more glute into the stretch. Good. Just about 10 seconds left. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. That's great, so Amber's shaking it out. She's bringing the leg right back across. Again, using that arm to bring her knee across. And you can see she's just shifted her body weight. So now she's kind of opening up that again, that'll help really open up the low back as well. So you can stay in that original position or if you're trying to get more of a low back stretch, you can also twist your body slightly. Good. So we've got five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. So now we're gonna get right into the first circuit of the cardio workout, stretching is over. Go ahead, you'll, if you're using a mat, just go ahead and get it out of the way and get ready for the first circuit. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the first circuit of this cardio workout. Every single one of these exercises is gonna be for 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and get started. Your first exercise is a slow controlled jog. Okay, good. So Amber's just balancing and switching from one foot to the other. She's bringing her knees up, working the abs, working the calves, working the upper body. Good. So as you're doing this, you wanna stay tall, you wanna be engaging your abs, you wanna be keeping your upper body nice and loose. Got five more seconds. Okay, great. So now we're gonna move into a high knee jog. So the intensity is ramping up. Amber's got her knees going. We've doubled the speed. Good, her arms are straight. Good. So she's got 15 seconds left. As you're doing this, make sure you're breathing, bringing those knees all the way up. This is gonna shred your abs out. It's really important. Don't let your knees drop below your belly button. Good, five, four, three, two, one. She's got punches next. She's gonna get in her stance. She's gonna work it back and forth, back and forth. Make sure you're punching all the way out. You're not shortcutting your punches. Good. She's also working her core while doing this exercise. You keep your core nice and tight. Working that transverse plane of motion is great for the core. Every one of these exercises in this cardio workout really works the entire body if you make sure to contract properly. Okay, we've got three, two, one. She's gonna go ahead and move into the next exercise, which is a slide jump shot. So she's literally just sliding across, shooting a basketball. Sliding across, shooting a basketball. Good. So this is gonna work the quads. This is working her explosive movement. This is working the upper body. It brings you right back to the old school times. You're in junior high or high school in your old gym, which is great. I love doing cardio workouts that aren't just treadmill, step mill, stuff like that. Doing these sorts of movements are completely different. It takes your body completely out of its comfort zone. Two and one. Okay, good. So now she's gonna move into a power squat. So with this exercise, what's really important to, um, to do is to make sure you're not coming down past 90 degrees. You're keeping the majority of your weight in that heel. That's gonna go right up through your hamstring and really work the glutes. You got 10 more seconds left. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna move into a defensive slide. And we're just gonna line up. Good. So good. This is just straight up back in the basketball days when you used to have to do defensive drill after defensive drill. This is great for the legs and it works laterally, right? So, so many, so many equipment pieces at the gym only work front to back, but to get those beautiful lines of definition coming in the lateral and medial parts of the leg, this is an amazing exercise for that. Good, three, two, and one, good. Okay, so next up is a vertical mountain climber. So you guys have done mountain climbers, you know, where you're on your hands. This is working straight up and down. So I want those hands coming all the way up. Good, she's pushing all the way up. 
good. She's bringing her knees all the way up just like she was in the high knees at the beginning of this day. So this is a, this is a killer cardio exercise. It's deceivingly hard, but don't shortcut it. Don't start bringing your arms down. Bring those knees all the way up. Three, two, one. Okay, good. So next up is switch feet. You're just keeping your legs nice and straight, bringing them out. This really works the quads and the calves nicely. It's a great agility exercise as well for any of those athletes out there. Again, Amber's using her arms just like you would if you were running. Good. Good. We've got five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. So next up, we're gonna go into a half tuck jump. Go ahead. So again, your knees are just coming up kind of halfway up to your waist. Again, this is gonna work incredible exercise for your abs, your legs, your calves, and burns a ton of fat. You need a lot of body control to complete this movement, so just engage the core, get your core going. At this point in the workout, you're getting tired, you're sweating, you're breathing hard, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, great, so last exercise of this round, it's a square hop, so Amber's gonna get in her square. Good, so she's gonna go around the square one time and then she's gonna reverse the way that she's going around. Again, it's these lateral movements just bring in beautiful lines of definition to the legs and burn a ton, a ton, a ton of calories. Good. It's also great for athletes who are looking to improve their conditioning, their agility, their movement on the field and on the court. Good, four, three, two, one. Great. Good job, guys. That's the end of circuit one. Now, when it comes to rest, I prefer that you try and make it as short as possible, but you can really take 15 seconds all the way up to a minute. Every single week, these rest periods should be getting shorter, but make sure that you're really pushing through the first circuit, pushing through the circuit, and then taking the rest that you need so that you can ramp up for the next one. Please do not exceed over a minute and 15 seconds between each round. Get your energy back up, get your mind in the right place, and let's begin. So starting off with exercise one, slow control jog. Good. So this is your last round of this circuit. Make sure you keep your intensity up. Don't half-ass it. You're gonna get out of this program exactly what you put in, just like anything else in life. Good. Coming up on five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, moving right into a high knee jog. Good. So Amber's still bringing her knees up. She's keeping the, her intensity high. She's keeping her speed just what it was at round one. Got about 15 seconds left. Keeping the arms going. Abs tight. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. So next we're moving right into punches. Get in position. Ready? Go ahead. Good. So again, we're punching all the way out. The intensity is up. We're not pulling punches. We're not doing it at half speed. This is the last round of this circuit. We're going all out. Good. About 15 seconds left. You guys are halfway there. Good, core is tight, her feet are firm on the ground. 10 seconds left. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Next up, slide jump shot. Go ahead and get in position, shake your legs out if you need to, and begin. Good, again, you wanna stay as low as possible with this slide. By this last round, what your body's gonna to wanna to do is stand up and slide, stay low. Stay low and explode, low and explode. Good, about 15 seconds left. You guys are halfway there. Good. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake it out. Right into our power squat. So again, Amber's only coming down to 90 degrees and exploding right back up. Her weight is in her heels. 
you're doing these at home, please make sure you do not come down from that 90 degree angle. It really puts a lot of pressure on the knees. Good. And again, squeezing your butt as you come up. I tell clients all the time, like you're picking up a piece of paper. <laughs> That'll really, if you really think that thought, it seems silly, but it will work. Three, two, one. Okay, moving on to the next exercise. Defensive slide, Amber, go ahead and get in position. And begin. So again, the key to this exercise, stay low and get out of these turns as quickly as possible. Good. Good, you guys are about halfway there. Keep the intensity up. Get in and out of these turns as quickly as you can. This floor today is a little bit slippery, but if you are on a gym mat or you have carpet, really push yourself in this change of direction. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, moving on to the next exercise. Vertical mountain climbers, Amber's gonna get in position. Good, take a breather if you need it, just a couple of seconds, deep breath, and move right into it. Good, again, pushing those arms all the way up, like you're punching up, you're punching your ceiling out. Knees are coming high. Good, good. Amber's keeping her speed up, you should be doing the same at home. Make sure you're pushing through these exercises. I know you're tired. Keep your intensity up. Good, just about five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. Okay, moving right into switch feet. Keep your legs straight. The more straight you keep your legs, the more your quads are gonna burn. Try as much as you can to just keep it totally straight. Don't have any bend in your knee. And again, ab straight, core straight, intensity with the arms. Believe it or not, these types of workouts will bring definition into your arms without ever even lifting a weight. Good, five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. All right, moving right into half tuck jumps. Here we go. Again, bringing the knees halfway up. Try and hit the ground as softly as possible. Sometimes when I'm at the gym, I see people doing plyometric movements and landing like this. I once had a coach say to me, I want you to land like you're trying to sneak up on me, like a ninja. That's how you wanna land when you're doing anything that's jumping. It's really gonna help preserve the body from getting that high impact, those high impact kind of aches and pains. Good, five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Great. Moving right into the next exercise, shake it out. Last exercise of this round, square hop. Give this all you have, because right after this, we're taking a break. Good. Look at that intensity and speed. Good, great transition between movements. Good, we're halfway there. about 10 seconds left, keep the energy up. Come on, you guys, push through, block it out of your mind, keep going. So often people give up right before the end. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys, that's the end of that round. Go ahead and take a break. Have some water if you need it. All right, guys, we are halfway done with this workout, about to start circuit number two, starting with a lateral speed knee. Amber's gonna go ahead and get us started and go. So what you're doing on these is you're doing it at a count of three. One, two, three, pushing off that outside foot and coming right back. Do not plant that inside foot. She's keeping that inside foot up. That's because I really want the body to be stressed in and out of this lateral movement. If you drop your foot, it's not as difficult. Good, about 10 seconds left. Again, keeping the core nice and tight. Five seconds, three, two, one, good. So right away, we're gonna move into our football up downs, starting with fast feet. Every five seconds, she's gonna drop. Good, and drop. Good, two, one, drop. Good, and drop. Good, and drop. Good, two more. Good, and drop. Last one. And drop. 
Good. Good job, good job at home. Moving right into our feet jacks. So this is like a half jumping jack. You're just bringing your arms out and your feet out. We went through a big compound movement to now a smaller movement to give your body adequate rest. If you need to take more rest between exercises to be able to go full speed, that's fine, but please limit it to 10 seconds at the most. Good, about 10 seconds left, keeping our arms coming out. Good. Starting the five second countdown. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, moving on to the next exercise, which is a plyo jumping jack. Good, so this is like a normal jumping jack, except amped up, right? So as you're coming up, you're just exploding off of the ground. Amber's doing these amazingly. Again, get all the way out with your arms, all the way out with your feet. Good, halfway there. Keep exploding up. Keep forcing those legs out. That's what's gonna bring the definition into the legs. Five, four, three, two, and one, great. Take a breather. We're gonna move into mini split squats next. So with these guys, it's a split squat, except you're not coming down all the way. And again, it's, that, it's a fast movement. You wanna get, get those legs switched out really quickly. Make sure with this exercise, you're not leaning forward. You wanna to stay totally upright and straight. Good, halfway there. Again, make sure that you're staying straight. Keep the front foot, keep all the weight on your heel. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so we're moving right into a switch kick. Amber's got her legs nice and straight. You guys already did this in the previous circuit, so you know what's up with this exercise. Keep your arms going, legs straight. Really keep the core tight. Good, stay light on your feet. Good, halfway there, keep your arms moving. Again, a lot of these exercises will still bring definition into the arms without ever even lifting a weight. Four, three, two, and one. All right, shake it out. Moving on to our next exercise, which is gonna be a running lunge with two feet jacks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do four running lunges and then moving right into a feet jack. So Amber will go ahead and demo exactly how that needs to go. One, two, three, and four. One, two, good. One, two, three, and four. One, two. You can do these, you can make it a stationary movement or if you want, you can also move forward. Good, halfway there, you guys. I know this exercise is challenging because it's a compound movement, but keep going, keep pushing through. Good, five seconds. Two and one, good. Shake it out. Now, for those of you who feel this exercise is too hard for you because of the plyometric element of the lunge, you can also just do a regular lunge and then do two of the half jacks. Okay, so now we're gonna move into dynamic jumps. Amber, go ahead and get in position. So this is a jump, but she's gonna be covering ground. She's gonna be moving forward. So coming down to 90 degrees, then jumping out, landing softly and jumping right back out. Good. So once you get the hang of this and you get the balance portion of it, you can speed it up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Depending on how much space you have, you can do three jumps, you can do two jumps, you can jump all the way across the gym for 30 seconds. Just depends on where you're working out today. Good, five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good, moving on to the next exercise. Speed skaters. All right, so Amber's gonna go ahead. This is another lateral movement. She's gonna jump to the side and bring that other leg right behind her. Great. This is a great movement for the legs, great movement for the glutes. Make sure, again, you're keeping your core nice and tight. Good, just about halfway there. Good, about five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, next exercise, jump rope. 
I'll have Amber go ahead and get her jump rope. If you at home have a jump rope, now's your time to get it. If you don't have a jump rope, you can do this without one. Just use your own body weight and imagination. Get your arms going. Good, so for 30 seconds. If you mess up while you're jumping rope, don't worry about it. Start again, start again, start again. I see so many people when they're jumping rope, biggest mistake they make is they get pissed off when the jump rope hits them, and then they spend 20 seconds kind of lamenting about it. Just keep going, it's not a big deal. Good, 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, you guys, that's the end of that round. Go ahead and take a break. 15 to 60 seconds, get some water. Stretch out if you need to. All right, we're moving right into our lateral speed knee. Amber is in position. Let's go ahead and get started. Good, so again, keeping your energy up. You've already made it through one round. You're probably a little bit tired. Block it. Really, really focus on what your goal is in doing this program. Focusing solely on your goal through something hard will really help carry you through. Don't think about the fact that you're out of breath. Just keep pushing. All right, so we've got five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Great, okay, moving right into our football up downs. Let's go ahead and get started. Good, and down. Good, down. Good, down. Down. Good, you got two more. And down. Last one, you guys, keep going, keep going. And down. Good, take five seconds, shake it out. Next up, we have feet jacks. You ready to go? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Remember, you wanna bring your arms out along with your feet with these, it's like a half jumping jack. Make sure those arms are coming out. This movement, even if it's body weight, still works your shoulders, brings great lines of definition in. Any sort of movement that works upper and lower body is gonna burn a ton of calories, so make sure you're not shortcutting any portion of any of these exercises. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's move right into the next exercise, which is a plyo jumping jack. Good. Good, so again, you're exploding out. Get your hands all the way up just like Amber is. Make sure you're forcing your feet out. You're halfway there. You guys, I know that you're tired by this point in the workout. Find your motivation. Why are you doing this program? What made you start this? What made you watch the video on day one? It's really important to keep all of those things in mind. Got three seconds, three, two, and one. Good, moving right into the next exercise. Mini split squats go. So again, you're not coming all the way down to that 90 degrees. This is really, this is a great exercise, not just for the legs, but also for balance. A lot of people at the gym, they do a lot of powerful movements, but if you ask them to stand on one leg, they can't. This is a great exercise for balance as well. Five more seconds. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Good, moving on to the next exercise, which is a switch kick. Again, keep your legs nice and straight. Get your arms going. The faster you move your arms, the faster your legs will go. Make sure you're bringing your, your arms all the way up. This will work the biceps, it'll work the shoulders, it'll work the chest. If you bring the intensity into the exercise. Good, about eight seconds left. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Moving on to the next exercise, running forward lunge and jack feet on a four, two count. One, two, three, and four, and then two of the jack feet. One, two, three, and four. Jack feet, again, if you're doing this at home and this movement is too advanced for you, it's okay, do a walking lunge. about halfway there, you guys keep pushing. I know you're breathing hard. 
Ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, good. Take a couple seconds, shake it out. Take a couple deep breaths of air, and we'll move into our dynamic jumps. All right, let's get it started. Here we go. Good. Amber's got perfect form on these. Her butt is not dropping lower than 90 degrees. Again, dropping lower than 90 really makes you susceptible to knee injuries. She's exploding out. She's landing softly. Again, land like a ninja. Don't land like this. Good, five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Great job, let's rest. About five seconds, walk it out. All right, moving on to our next exercise, speed skaters. Go ahead and get behind here. All right, Amber's gonna push off of that foot and bring the other leg behind. Good, really, really push out the, off those feet, you guys. You wanna try and cover as much ground as you possibly can with, with each one of these reps. Good. About halfway there. Good, coming up on five seconds left. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Take five seconds, shake it out. All right, go ahead and get your jump rope. This is gonna be our last exercise of this round. Good, and again, if you mess up with the jump rope, just keep going. Don't think about it, don't stop, don't get frustrated. Just keep going. Again, you guys, this is the last exercise. You really wanna go 100%. Keep pushing, let's go ahead and count it down. We've got nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, done. Good job, you guys. Get some water, take a break. So for the core workout, you have two different circuits that you're gonna repeat twice. Each exercise is 20 seconds with as many reps as possible. First exercise is sitting twist, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Michael's gonna get seated, his feet are up, and he's just gonna twist. Now, if you wanna do this exercise using a medicine ball or a dumbbell, that's completely fine. For our purposes today, we're just gonna use straight up body weight. Good, about halfway there. Keeping his core nice and tight. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Right into a plank. Good. So, you can see that he's got a nice straight line. Actually, I'm gonna have him come up just a tad. Good. You really wanna make sure that your hips are not dropping down. That is what really leaves your low back susceptible on this exercise. His elbows are right beneath his shoulder. He's in the perfect plank position right now. Good, two, one. Okay, right into butt ups. So Michael is back on his back, his feet are up, and he's just gonna touch up to my hand. Perfect. So his head is down, his hands are secured at his side, and again, you really just wanna force your butt off the ground and come straight up in a line. Good, and five, four, three, two, and one, time. Good, right into heel touches. Yep, so right back down, and he's just alternating side to side again. He's already in a flex position. His starting position, position is flexed. So he's not resting at all. This is constant tension on the abs. And again, you guys, you wanna try and get in as many reps as you can in these 20 seconds. Good, in five, four, three, two, and one. Time. Right into V-sit, so Michael's gonna sit up. Modified V-sit, he's gonna, yep, and he's crossing over. Perfect. This requires leg strength, abdominal strength. Good. And he's keeping his core nice and tight. His hands are secured at his sides. Good, and just five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, right into 100. So he's back down, and he's just tapping his hands right to his heels. Try and come all the way up to your heels. There we go. Again, he's not resting. His, his starting position, his, there's already tension in his abs. Perfect, and 10 seconds left. He's feeling it, I can tell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, 
two, and one. Time, right into plank, step up, so he's gonna flip right over. He's in the plank position, and he's right up on those hands. So again, he's bringing his hand right underneath his shoulder. Perfect, don't cheat this. People I see, they wanna come out to here to cheat the tension off of the tricep and the shoulder. Don't do it that way. That's also gonna take the tension off of your obliques, and that is not what we want. Good, and time. Right into our plank walkout. So Michael's just inching out, inch by inch, and then he's coming right back. Good, it's a small movement. Don't go out too far. That's gonna make your back susceptible. You're just inching out. This is a great exercise especially going plank right into this. It's extremely difficult. Good, and time. Right into a cross crunch. So he's back on his butt, back in that starting position. Good. And he's coming straight up and touching the top of his knee, really squeezing. That's the most important part when you are doing crunches is that on the way back down, you're not just relaxing. You really wanna keep tension all the way through the movement. Good, in five, four, three, Two and one. Right into bicycle crunches. There we go. So he's crossing it over, bringing the knees all the way in and out. Good. And about 10 seconds left. You should be breathing hard. Your abs should be burning. You should yep. be pushing. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. That's the end of round one. Let's get right into round two with seated twists. Perfect. Oh, he's, he's on it. Feet are up, core is tight. You guys should really be pushing through these, getting as many reps in as possible in these 20 seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Right into our next exercise, plank. All right, so Michael's back, back around. His elbow is right underneath his shoulder. Perfect, he's in a perfect plank position. A lot of times I see people do this exercise They've got their um, torso is kind of sinking down. That is a big, big, big no-no. That leaves you very, very open to injury. You want to stay in a perfect line with your body. A three, two, one. Right into butt-ups. Perfect, let's go. Okay, so his head is nice and relaxed, and he's just launching those legs right off the ground. You're gonna feel this deep, deep, deep in your abs. Again, you should be winded. I can hear that he's winded. You should be winded at home. This should be taxing you cardiovascularly. And five, four, three, two, and one. Time. Moving right into heel touches. 20 seconds. How many reps can you do? Every single round, you should be pushing to get more reps in. Every week, you should be improving. Good. 10 seconds left. Good. And five, four, Three, two, and one time. Right into modified V-sits. All right, so he's back up. Here we go. Good, that's perfect. Killing it. You really want to keep your legs nice and straight. If you need more support, you can put your hands behind you while you do this exercise. Good, in four, three, two, one. Good, right into hundreds, back down. Here we go. Good. These little crunches, these tiny movements, really, really work the abs. They're deceivingly hard. They're deceivingly amazing, too, for getting results in your abs. They really create those nice, deep cuts that everybody wants. Good, three, two, and one, time. Plank step ups, let's get into it. So Michael's flipping back around, nice transition there, perfect. Good, good. He's gonna try and get 10 on this side and then move right on to the other side. Perfect. Good, just about five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Right into a plank walkout. How you feeling? It's burning. <laughs> there we go, that's what it should be doing. There's no mistake in where my core is. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Every exercise we're doing, we're really firing every single muscle of the core. So often I see people working core front to back. We're working it from all angles today. Good, three, two, one, time. Right into a cross crunch. He's gonna flip back around. Here we go. Again, everything is tight. He's not letting go when he's on his kind of downswing of this exercise. 
He's staying in, in, uh, in a position where the abs are constantly engaged. Good, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, time. Right into a bicycle. There we go. This is the type of pace that you guys wanna try and be at. He's really, really pushing it. Perfect. Good, perfect, over halfway there. And five, four, three, two, one. Great, so that's the end of circuit one. Let's move right into circuit two with a shoulder bridge. Michael's gonna get himself into position. Good, so he's got his feet planted firmly on the ground and he's just lifting his hips off the ground, pushing right through his heel. His head is firmly on the ground. His hands are on the ground. He's keeping the rest of his body nice and relaxed. Good. Four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna move into the quadruped alternating. He's gonna flip back over. He's coming right out, giving it a nice second or two to, um, to, to stay in that flex position and then switching right back over. We've worked the front of the body, now we're working the back side of the body. Perfect, this is a great um, exercise for stabilization. I use it with all my clients, especially with my athletes. And one good, right back into our shoulder bridge. Perfect, so he's back down, perfect. You really wanna be squeezing and pushing your hips as high up to the sky as you possibly can. If you feel any tension in your low back, just move your feet towards your butt, just slightly. Just that little adjustment will take a lot of pressure off the low back. Squeeze it. Good, two and one, right back over. Good, last set. We are so close, perfect. 20 seconds. Again, notice Michael isn't just swinging, he's making sure that he's got his leg out, his arm out, and he's stabilized before he's moving on to the other side. Five, four, three, Two and one, time. How do you feel? I can feel the got burn. The, got the abs? Yeah. yeah. Great job, you guys. That's it for your core workout. I'll see you back here tomorrow.